Hello everybody, my name is Merc, and we're back in the shadow of the Erd Tree, level 161. And I think we're going to attempt more fights here at the final boss. Uh, it's been quite the journey. I have uh, thought about the game quite a bit. I'm thinking about it because it's been a week since the last video. I've not played... Uh, much since then. I kind of just played some stuff in the base game and thought about more implications of the lore of this uh, DLC, but none of that matters. What matters is we're going to run in and we're going to die. Don't even buff. We're not even buffing this time because I'm already confident that we're going to die. But first... We're going to learn. We're going to relearn. Because as I said. I actually dodged that. Okay. Do not. We never. We never dodge that. So don't worry about dodging that. It's, this is easy mode. That's a free attack. Is what that is. That was me being. Being a bit silly. Um. I also changed the audio settings and I realized it's very loud. I understand why I had the audio like I did before. <laughs> I can turn it down on my own end, but I'm not quite sure how the balance is, so I'm gonna turn it down slightly. Um, slightly. Let's try that. Let's see how flooded I feel after that. Um, so this time, let's try putting on some buffs, I guess. Like this, this will help unquestionably. And this, this is questionable help. Like it is help, but it doesn't last very long, so I'm not too concerned about it. Okay, not great. I still don't know how to deal with that attack at all, which is why I was a little stumped. There's clearly something I'm missing, I feel like, because I've been seeing people... I don't know, I've, I've been seeing attempts at this fight. Um, because at this point, I already... I've seen most of the attacks in-game, right? And it's just about execution. But people are sharing clips on social media, which... I'm not a big fan of, because this boss is kind of, kind of a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> If people are concerned about the lore, I rolled so early there. Speaking of rolling early. All right, I need to get back in the, the swing of things. I um, changed up the trinket a little bit because I don't think the I had the max stamina trinket on before. Um, but that's not really what's killing us. The stamina consumption is not a big deal because we can only really get one jump attack in between the myriad of many combos that this man is putting out. Um, so I put on the trinket that uh, powers you up after you... Oh, cool. have to want like can you jump i like that he did that attack i could have maybe experimented more but the problem with the with that attack is he just he just starts it you know what i mean like it's so hard to be prepared to dodge it normally you're doing something else and it just catches you um but yeah we put on this trinket raise attack power after each critical hit because ideally eventually we will wear through his stagometer his stegometer and we will stagger him that was also a pretty early you want to do that roll early so you can punish it I'm so happy I dodged that because probably would have died even at full HP but not necessarily that was good Okay. Chugging his face. Okay, that attack I'm not used to. This attack we haven't seen in a bit. 
And then, uh, we haven't seen it, and then the explosion caught me. Well, it's not that it caught me, actually. It's, uh, the camera. The camera, like, flooded me. Because I couldn't tell what he was doing. I keep seeing my HP drop every time. I'm not sure what's up with that. We could also start using rune arcs and other um, gimmicks if we want, but, you know, we've already got enough gimmicks as is. We don't need to add to the equation. Yeah. I legit don't know what to do about that. Um, we got to try jumping next, I guess. Okay, that was just terrible. That was just terrible, and so was that. This is partly why I was uh, afraid to return, because I knew for a fact we would be here for a while. Um, we need to discover some new technology in order to advance in this fight. First of all, it would be nice to see phase two, but like, that's that's higher order thinking when really we just need to be dealing with uh, learning how to deal with the attacks we can't deal with yet. Okay, that was bad. He does not kill me in one shot with that combo. It's just scary. This will kill me real dead. Wait. Wait. Okay, so when he does... Because he dragged me in, did he not, with the vortex? And then he did the that big combo again? I thought he had to do the follow-up attack after the Vortex. For the record, that Vortex attack? I don't know how to dodge either of those attacks. Like, the first one is basically instant, it feels like. I mean, jumps are basically instant, I'm not gonna lie. If, assuming it is... <laughs> I misread the Q. Oh no. I wasn't locked on either. I know I debated not locking on last time I played, but... He's a big man, but he... Like, if he was a little smaller, there would be no question. You... You just fight this man with a lock-on camera, but because he's so big, it's like... If you've watched the other episodes fighting the other DLC bosses that are huge... You'll likely have noticed my disdain for locking on the camera for big big boys. Like, that attack doesn't actually do that much damage. Okay, that time it did. He's, like, taunting me with it. Okay, I'm not used to that combo. Unfortunately, there's a few combos that are, like... Similar looking enough that uh, it's easy to, to mix them up. If they don't have an obvious start, then I uh, am not quite sure which is which. Also, I recognize that maybe these items aren't the best that I'm using. Um, these great stars or whatever. Okay, you can't misread the, that attack. Okay, that attack. I'm just dead. That's cool. That's a new attack. It's just like a quick double slice. That's freaking rude, dude. I feel like I could be doing more damage as well. Maybe we do try another weapon set. I mean, the only one that does a crazy amount of damage is our holy hammer, and I imagine this dude is quite holy, so... I don't know, let's, let's try it, I guess. Why not? Do this and this. I 
I misread it again. Now, now I'm in my own head. I'm trying so hard to dodge the vortex. Uh oh, yeah, I knew that was catching me. Cause I'm in my own head. Pull out the new hammer, don't even use it. You love to see it. Alright. Let's do the run back. I just think this hammer... It might not be, like, a good idea. Oh yeah, I forgot to... I forgot to what my moveset was. As per usual. Every time I switch off of, uh... Dual wielding. Okay, well, you can't roll through it. I think the hammer does more poise damage on his stagometer. That's the combo that I don't quite know the attack of. I don't know why I kept walking backwards like that would help. But I already know you cannot walk backwards versus Elden Ring bosses, like, period. Maybe some of the mini bosses, but... Whereas in, like, original Dark Souls, there's a lot of, ch like, opportunities to just walk backwards out of range. You cannot do that in this game. Also, I need to be doing jumping R2s. I keep doing jumping R1s because, as I said, every time I switch off of dual wielding, I forget how it works. It's because Radon's sword. It's literally because Radon's sword throws me off every time. Oh, cool, thanks. I guess I get to fail this attack some more. Legit, I don't know what to do there. Your options are guard, which is not an option. Like that is it's a similar s Oh my god, I'm in I'm in my own head. I'm seeing people in the background lighting the sight of grace. <laughs> Just rubbing it in my face about how bad I'm doing. Neat. Oh, come on, do it again. I was waiting for him to do it again. I did hit him there at the end. Oh my gosh. Okay, this weapon ain't really it either, I acknowledge. Like, we're doing 2k on a, on a good day. That's including the flame buff. We're just going to run through these again, even though I did this in the last episode. But just for my own sanity because uh that was a week ago i had a whole work week in between that so neat okay so if the attack is purple you just you just never dodge it Oh, oh, you could just, you could just jump all of that. Why didn't I think of that before? Here I am rolling backwards like it's a thing you can do. I think even because I went like back into the left, he caught me with the, the end of his hitbox there. If I went back, or if I went right, I would have been safer for sure, but. Uh, this hammer is not much worse and not much better than the other one. But because this one doesn't need a buff, I feel a little more okay with this for the moment. Just because I don't think Holy's going to be it versus the boss in phase two, you know what I mean? It'd also be, like, thick. If we could get a lot of stagger damage in early. Because we haven't even staggered him once this whole session. It's been 15 minutes, although we didn't fight immediately, but basically immediately. 
So here's 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 the strat. Is this a strat? I think last time I tried this, it was very inconsistent, where you just do repeated jumping attacks and pray. I don't think that's a strat versus this guy. But like, we can try. You can't punish that. I remember, you cannot punish that. Um, I tried the double chug and he was like, nah. Dang. I wanna try, I wanna try something else. Um, let's try a different game. Just boots and closes Elden Ring, boots up a different, no, I'm joking. Um, and by something else, I just mean at the, the start here, when he does his thing, his thing that he does, where he jumps in. I'm gonna delay mine a little. I'm gonna like try to go behind him, maybe. And see how much that changes things. Because I imagine, yeah, it's gonna force him to reposition. That was super cool. What just happened? It was, it was neat. He almost hit me. I don't know what to do here. Is it just run backwards? I, I delayed it because I wasn't sure if he was going to jump again. I hate that combo. Oh, he's like, that combo? I'm going to do it again. I jumped into the explosion. I might have still got hit by it. Just notice we are using his rune against him. Not that... He's like extra strong or anything about that, but just uh, a nice little irony, perhaps. Use his own power against him. Perhaps I'm thinking too hard, but listen, this is what I need to do to regain my sanity after some of these attempts. I jumped into that one. If I rolled and jumped attack again, I would have had like a good effort there. You know what else I'm not doing? I'm not using my drank. But I only have the one, so I kind of want to save it for phase two. I feel like that might be a good idea. If I can get through phase one without using the chug jug, I feel like we might be in a good spot. But, you know, we have to get there first. I'm just gonna run backwards. Why do I think that would work? You just run forward, perhaps? This man let me chug twice. I didn't even know he could run. Hey, I jumped that attack. Oh man, if I dodge that and then got a good jump in there, we're cooking, we're cooking, okay? So apparently after he does, this, that doesn't sound, this does, this is not going to sound uh, consistent enough to my liking, but after he does the stomp, I guess if we roll into him, maybe we could theoretically jump attack after, which sounds kind of nuts. I feel like if we had, actually, you know what, I was, well, we do have some other weapon sets, but Unfortunately, our two best weapons are fire and holy, which this man has both. I legit don't know what to do about that. I tried to stub his toe and it didn't work. That was just bad. That was just bad. I got... Um... What did I get? I got greedy, I got stupid. <laughs> I got killed, that's what I got. Um... Just one of those situations where one thing... One thing tilts me, and then... I let the rest of the fight 
go to waste. Oh, what the? Like this. Ooh. Ooh wee. I'm running to the left this time. It kinda worked. Kinda worked. Emphasis on the kinda. It seems like maybe running is the answer for the purple attacks. Which doesn't sound the most fun. Yes. I love to see that attack. Okay, you have to... To dodge that second attack, you have to delay the jump a little. If it's possible. If I didn't just get lucky. It does seem like the music is still a little loud. It's hard to judge... the meters because like my voice was still overpowering it but because my voice is less consistent than all the all the chanting in the background I imagine it still gets drowned out not to mention explosions I think this might be why we stopped using these hammers because there's so many times you just miss feels bad man all right now we run to the right Okay, there was no chance we were getting out of that one. Now we run backwards and jump, I guess. Run and jump backwards, that's the answer. Wow, that was atrocious. I'm just trying to, I was just trying to jump attacks there. To jump attacks. I didn't even buff myself. Still hasn't done that twice. Cool. <laughs> That's a bad way to go. That's a bad way to go. All right. We are regressing. Successfully regressing. You hate to see it. Regressing so much I didn't buff. Not that it matters too much, but I mean it'll help phase faster, that's important. I'm not even sure what happened there. I guess I got flooded. I got hit twice in the middle of the combo trying to go for greedy jumps. But theoretically, if we can do some smart trades, it's not the worst idea. I'm looking at the numbers again, and I'm just... I shouldn't have messed with the audio. I thought the audio would be fine, I don't... but I wanted to hear a little more. I didn't even buff, whatever. It's that combo, man. I can't recognize it right away, and it's got such a quick third that you have to buffer it. Whereas every other combo, you do not buffer the third dodge. Like that one. I'm getting in my own head again. But at least like I'm learning a little. That's that's some copium that we can we can huff. A little. Emphasis on a little. But we are learning. A little. I hate this attack. This might be... Merc's most hated attack. Nope, this one is. I lied. No, you just run. You just run. It doesn't even matter if you jump. You just literally have to run away from that attack. Love to run away from bosses. Yep. I don't know how I jumped that one. I don't think you can jump that second attack. I think what happened there was an inconsistent hitbox. 
sometimes these hitboxes are a lot. Try this again. Just, just try it again. Love to see it. That was, that was the run. Every time I get like, three good jump attacks in a row, I always fail before I can get the fourth in. It's a, it's a good setup doing that. If I can get the roll behind him, um, after he does his initial jump in, he often does his, uh, like, back away step. Which isn't necessarily good, but then it might result in him trying to jump again. My alarm's going off? Oh, someone's calling me. Um, sheesh, man, what time is it? It's my buddy calling me, so I'm trying, I'm like doing the calculations in my head. Do I want to hang out right now? Because I could end this video. Theoretically, you're not even hearing this. Um. Now I'm to my own head. Not even, not even prepared for any of these dodges. Hmm. We'll give it another, another few attempts, and we'll see how I'm feeling. Can't believe my. I can believe it. This is the one person who calls me just out of the blue. I guess it's not out of the blue because I saw him earlier in the week, but... Normally, I put my phone on silent. I'm going for the greed. And then we're bravely running to the left. I knew it wasn't going to work. I think I, I was running a little too far down as well. Can't be doing that. Okay. Get behind him, jump attack. Big delay combo, jump attack. He punishes us. I had a feeling. So it is four jump attacks. Four jumping R2s is what we need in, in somewhat quick succession. Okay, I was gonna say I might have missed there, but we did not. So we're gonna skip this cutscene. We're gonna chug immediately twice. And this is what I meant by twice. Then this guy does this attack where it completely destroys my frames. And then I try to run away and it does not work. And then he does this attack. Just getting hit by holy lightning. No big deal. So my question is, surely the lightning is consistent for the combos. Because the holy lightning, I guess. Because my issue is, if it's randomized every time he takes a swing, that's... That'd be very rude, just to put it lightly, <laughs> Miyazaki. So I hope that's not the case. That said, it takes so long for us to get there. Can't punish this attack. Oh. 
That hurt. I figured... What does it matter if we're at low HP? When all we're concerned with is phasing him, right? Um, it does mean we're at a way worse position come phase two, but... That said, we're not actually able to... To phase him with enough damage where we're like... Because I think this might actually... If we can get a bunch of jumping... What is I'm jumping L1s? It's jumping L1s now. Theoretically, if we can get a bunch of jumping L1s in, it'll do the similar amount of poise damage, get the stagger in, and then... What am I doing? It'll also get the bleed in. So maybe this is what we're looking for. That's definitely not what we're looking for. And then I buffered a second L1, which got me hit by that whole combo. Alright, he let me heal because he's a bro. I forgot that that attack is, like, delayed. That is so... I, okay, you just have to run straight to the left. That is the one answer. Alright, he did the double combo. My turn? I think what it is, you can kind of duck that. I don't know. I'm not going to try to duck it any uh, that either. This is kind of huge. This is why I was using the Great Stars prior, for sure. I tried to phase him. Instead, I lost camera control. He's not going to phase. That's bad. Okay, there we go. I think this is fine. It does mean we're at a little bit of a disadvantage for this attack. Oh my god. Just supreme amounts of greed right there. We just, we need to center ourselves during phase two. I'm not getting too panicked. That was not a lot of panic rolls, but if we can get to phase two and actually download the moveset, then you're saying there's a chance. I might even, if we're going to be doing just this boss over and over, I might unequip all these incantations that I'm not using. I'll think about that a little bit. Actually recognize that combo for once. Oh my god. I That was just... I don't even have any words for that one. I need to take a drink after that one. That was just poor play. I guess I... <laughs> once again, got in my own head. I'm like, oh, I dodged the one attack that throws me off every time and then immediately get hit with like the classic combo everything I only hit with one of my maces there she, she does not like my my jump in his face strat which fair I wouldn't like it either. There are certain attacks that he does where that trade is absolutely worth it, but I think those attacks are few and far between. Oops. Well, um, okay, yeah, I'm going to remove the other spells. What if we do this? Well, we're not going to use the Holy Blade, I don't think, but I'm just going to put it back on. I like that the thing is still... I'd rather scroll through three spells than 30. Um... Ooh. 
very bad. That delayed one too is tough. I only hit with one of them again. That last attack, if you're still in front of him, because he doesn't always do it, but that last attack is a bit of a delay as well. Kind of rude. A delayed attack that he only does half the time. I'm so used to having to scroll through so many spells that I was trying to scroll through them all. That's, that's the alternate combo that I'm still struggling to dodge. Can't get hit by that second attack. That first attack doesn't do that much damage, but I was already, already weak. Why does my HP keep dropping? I don't understand that. What if we start popping Runarchs? So I looked at the number and I was like, mm, what if we don't? What if they're too good to use, maybe? Because, like... Yeah, theoretically the Runox will maybe get us to phase two more, but I'm not convinced we're going to necessarily win on any of these runs. We still need to absorb more of phase two. Big, big miss. Straight run. Please run. I'm not running. Okay. I missed. Oh, I missed. I'm gonna phase this man as I stagger him. Oh, that's rude. At least it was like accurate to the cutscene, I suppose. Oh my, it really does make me drop frames every time. Unfortunately, as much as I want to take off this this Halig Drig, oh, it's not even. Is it the best one? It's not even the best one. I was using the wrong one. That's funny. Oh, actually, the, the golden braid is the. Why did I put this on? What happened there? As I was saying, as much as I want to switch off of that, the errant holy damage in phase two is nuts. And. Maybe we don't chug the drink till after we run out of the the aura. This is gonna be getting me killed for sure. I don't know how to dodge when we're close like that. I hit him out of midair. Does that count? That sucked so hard. Are you kidding me? Yeah, just kill me, dude. Holy crap. I've been playing it a little greedy with that, um... That ending slash on the big combo. On that standard combo, let's call it. Because it's a... A ground explosion, right? So... I've been noticing that lately just dodging the big attack sometimes leaves you out of position enough where you'll dodge the ground explosion. But it's getting me greedy and uh, I cannot be doing that. Like the, with the flame buff times two, because I guess they're both flame buffs. We can't be missing like that. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I hate when that happens. It seems like if he hits you, he's never going to go for the two. Okay. I got pretty lucky there. Okay. I got greedy, but it might have been required. Whoa. This is not the attack. Oh, this is the attack. Dude, that's so lame. It cuts my frames and then it forces you to run the heck away. Also, what happened there? I was just like walking forward and dodging all of his attacks. Did y'all see that? I almost want to like go back. That's crazy. I was like walking forward and to the left a little bit and I was just literally dodging all the weird light, light shadows. I don't know what to call them. Light clones, I guess. Okay, let's not miss this attack. I buffered an extra L1. Got me hurt. So did that. I think because I was in the air. I didn't get flattened, maybe? Or maybe last time, because I was in the air, I got flattened. I don't know. I probably should have went for another jump. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, we phased him. We phased him real good that time. I don't know how I dodged that. Are you kidding me? It still hit me? Uh, the worst part is... When I'm dead, I'm noticing, I'm like looking around to be like, oh, maybe we can absorb, or at least into it, a little bit more of when the holy lightning strikes but the holy lightning stops striking once you're dead and if my horrible line of thinking comes to the conclusion that i think it is that means it's just based around where you are as long as you're alive and therefore it is kind of random i fear that was some panic rolls I always forget that that first uh, strike down is, is a hitbox. Maybe I should just be dodging to the right a bit more then. Because it seems like dodging the left is getting me caught sometimes. Is that a thing? Um, what? Oh, because I'm two-handing my sword. Are you kidding me? That was, that was dumb. Also, it's not even a sword. Um, what do I do? If I ran backwards, I would have been, <laughs> I would have been at the fog wall. And all I know is run backwards. All I know how to do is eat chip and run backwards. Okay, try this again. This is that's the combo we're looking for. He's just repeatedly doing attacks you can't punish. 
I'm alive. I was like, maybe we should dodge the right, and that whole time, all I know how to do is dodge that attack by the left. Oh my gosh, I keep hitting with one hammer. Yes, yes, skill issue, I, I get it. It is something I can avoid, but it's also real rough. Because all I'm doing is holding up. Like I'm trying to jump at him and then hold the direction toward him and, and fail. That's what it feels like, so. I hate this attack. This This is the hated attack. Of course, he follows up with this one, but whatever. Oh my god! I thought I could go for the stagger, but there was a lot of time in between our jump attacks there, so it wasn't happening. <laughs> Very interesting. That one was like, it was pretty good. Like I had a few good, good dodges in there, but it's such an onslaught. He hit me in the air. I didn't even... I don't even... You can't... You can't... You can't chug. He just punishes you. You can't chug. Holy... That was... That was a rough fight. That one was demoralizing a little. And it's hard, to, like, to internalize what even happened. Because it, like, fell apart, like, 20 seconds ago. And then, uh... I couldn't get, regain the grip. Okay. Just back up a little, that's all you need to do. I remembered. That should maybe have not have worked like that, but it did. It sure did. Okay, maybe you run away and jump once because... I'm just gonna give the game the benefit of the doubt that I am getting hit by his big slash as opposed to the rocks coming up. Uh, just kill me, bro. You miss you miss one hammer at the start. You might as well just kill me. I was slightly facetious, but my soul died when I saw that I only hit one hammer. Okay, I just wanted to see how these attacks worked. How these attacks work with, uh...
while dual wielding. It only works on with one, so like I don't even think that's very good. Unless I have another Ash of War here that means anything, but I don't think it does necessarily. We have maybe we can pull out some gimmicks. I wish we had like a bleed. If we could accentuate the bleed, that'd be pretty sick. How much are these? Oh, wait, what? Maybe we do want something like this. We're losing like 50 damage, but if he actually goes down to... Also, I didn't quite realize this is this is a thing too. Hmm. Let's experiment. <laughs> what are these attacks looks like? Okay, that one might be useful, maybe. Hmm. Let's try this one first. We we need to see if we can get the poison in. Oh my god! Look at look how nasty this thing looks. Nasty. You can't buff your other hand, right? Do they remove that? Like unless it's a, uh, yeah, unless it's an art on the weapon. I think. Let's put Blood Flame on. Oh, because it's poison now we can't. Okay, well, let's just see how this goes. I don't think Blood Flame is that important, but it might be. Very poor. Just, just tanking through that one. He's poisoned. That dude gets poisoned. Wait. Hmm. He got. It seemed like he gets poisoned pretty quickly. What if we. What if we do something crazy? That said, I mean, no. Let's let's try something. Let's try something like like this. I don't really mess around with these ashes of war too much. What if we turn these blood? And they have the poison attack here. If that is enough to poison him, my eyebrow my eyebrows raised. So that's that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> if that works to poison him, we might we might have a thing going here, especially because it seems to coat the weapon. It's much less damage to start. But if he just stays in there... It was probably because both of our weapons were poisoned. Oh no, it literally is just two strikes. Oh, what am I doing? Why do I keep switching to that? Again, this attack sucks. That might be the new most hated attack. The problem the problem with this poison setup, I realized at the end of that combo and it's probably what threw me off. It's just more particle effects now. So phase two is gonna be even more of a mess. I wonder okay. Hmm. No, we need to use we need to use the one ability. Maybe we use the Stinger ability. We're just going to keep experimenting. Okay, it's not that strong. 
and it doesn't poison our weapon, which I think is might be required. And theoretically, with the more bleed, like we're doing significantly less damage now, but I think with the more bleed, we might be in a better spot in the future. We just need to like get used to this new opening. Did I switch the... I didn't. No, I did. Okay. Yeah. Wasting a bit of FP, who cares? I... Just being bad. He is poisoned. I knew he was going for the double. I flooded myself. I, I done did it and flooded myself. I need to see how much damage we're doing on intro. So, you know what? Maybe we do this. Because we're not buffing the weapon at the start. We put on flame. Then we do this. And then we go in. So now our weapon has the poison on it. And then now we can just do L1s. AKA double hammer jump attacks. Which are actually not that bad damage. It is less. Unquestionably it's less. Okay, so he needs to stand in the mist. That makes sense. That's probably why it's so easy to poison him at the start, is because he just stands there. Hmm, so I'm like... less and less convinced that this is the build. And maybe we should go back to heavies, but we're gonna give it a few more attempts. I'm trying to see the, the difference between just having these weapons be bleed versus buffing them with the, the bleed sauce, you know? I'm trying to see if they're, if we can get the bleed off during this phase one at a reasonable time. I'm dead. Dang. Okay, we had a good attempt there. I can't tell how many exchanges we're, we're having to do. Like, if we can get a stagger in there, and then I can, like, one for one see the difference between how much damage this is outputting. I'm not necessarily convinced. Like, the poison definitely... The longer the fight goes on, the more efficient the poison is, right? That's... Undebatable. We need to get this intro pat down, though, again. That stomp attack? It, his hitbox is not the foot. It, it is just the ground. And that's why it feels like we dodge it sometimes when we don't mean to. And that's why you can jump dodge it, too, probably. Speaking of. That was some panic, but... It worked. I don't know what happened there. I was like losing my mind. Don't want to be using so many chugs early. He did the full combo. Of course he did. I was. <laughs> In the middle of the combo, I'm like, nah, 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 he's not doing the full combo. I'm going to be to his left. But there's some variance in it. Because it seems like he doesn't do the full combo if you get behind him, but...
I feel like this might be making the fight slightly harder. But I think it's worth giving a few more shots. We need to see the bleed proc to see if this is actually terrible or not. Okay, that's a new one. That's kind of bad <laughs> that it's a new one because we don't have the poison buff on yet. Rude. That might have been ruder, actually. Nah, 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 nah. That one was. That was the rudest. That one feels like... It's the buffer one, too. Are any of his... I don't think any other combos are buffer one, twos. In that once you dodge the first attack, you have to dodge the second one immediately. And it's hard to tell, again, as mentioned prior. The start of the combos are... a bit ambiguous. Okay, you cannot L2 in the air, is what I just learned, which, like, I guess makes sense, but... a little rude. Oh my god, I tried to do it again, because I'm dumb. Because I'm dumb. If you ever see me roll backwards, the fight's already over. <laughs> like, I've already... I've lost all hope. Me rolling backwards is me, like, praying. I mean, it's the same with me running backwards, but running backwards actually pays off every so often. We need you to do your, your easy attack. Thanks! It's kind of you. Apparently, I buffered the second L1. We're not going to have this problem again, are we? I need to be more deliberate with my presses. Why does this man got, like, these tiny little sheaths, and he's carrying the giantest curved swords ever? What is he bothering with the sheaths for? I guess Radon is a bit of a, a jack-of-all-trades. He's got a bunch of magic, too. Apparently, I buffered the attack again. Thank you, standard combo. Oh, man, we haven't even poisoned him. This is not helping. There's a lot of attempts where I'm just not even getting the poison in. Mostly my own fault, but... Oh my god, I dodged that. The bleed damage was good. It procced at the right time, which is what we needed. He might be poisoned. I kind of doubt it. We're going to chug twice, then run. Oh, boy. I'm so used to him doing the big explosion right away that it's almost crucial to my game plan. Ah, uh, that sucked. He was not poisoned. I don't know if that means we just didn't get the proc off, or... Or he cleanses himself of poison in phase two. It wouldn't surprise me if, if he gets a cleanse in phase two, just because Makilla's there. I did the wrong attack. I thought for sure I, Oh! I thought for sure I was dead. Turns out I was right. 
Oh, the poison mist alone is almost enough. That's interesting. Again, it's because he's standing in it. I mean, the reason why I thought about that is because I recognize we're not using our art otherwise, right? But theoretically, we could go poison mist and go back to strength, strength weapons. Of course, he's not getting poisoned this time. Really? The one all the way over there hit me? I was looking at his number. That stomp is hitting me more than it should. Especially now that I realize the stomp is not the hitbox, it's it's the aftershock. There's no reason for it to be hitting me like that. Hmm. Again, we need to tighten this intro, because I'm flubbing it. Start with the L2. Of course, of course, man. What I say, I rolled backwards. That was kind of you. Never mind. Never mind. Dude, oh! Let's think about this some more. Hmm. This poison intro might be just strictly worse because it's throwing me off at the start, and we can't be having that, because it's hard to regain your composure during this guy. Also, we're not poisoning him. Why didn't we poison him there? Okay, couple more attempts with the poison, and then we might be calling it on that. But I think if we are calling it on the poison, we might be switching back to heavy then. Like, is it... I hate... I hate this attack. <laughs> Every time I say I hate this attack, it's a different attack now. He did get poison. You can hear it when it procs. Yes. I'm a sicko. The only problem now is if the poison phases him, but it doesn't look like that's ever going to happen. Yo. 17k damage. Alright, we're about to find out if the poison still works. I have to double chug and then pray. Wait, why am I over here? He did get cured of his poison, which I'm like, I think is very rude. Okay, you can just dodge that attack by walking forward. I promise you, do you? A thousand year voyage guided by compassion. That's kind of you. 
What does this do anyway? We don't even know what it does. Uh oh. What? <sighs> okay, the lightning does come sometimes. Rather, the holy lightning. Two things really threw me off there. Are you telling me at the end of the big combo he has a huge explosion of light? Like, well, it's not really a huge explosion of light, but it's a bunch of light beams. If we can get to the point where we're phasing him every time with these weapons... Then I think we have a decent chance here. I was even ready for an attack, and he still, like, did the most instantaneous swipe that there was. Holy crap! <laughs> After that poke into explosion attack, you just can't punish it. So I was literally waiting for the next attack, and he still caught me with it. That was... That was disheartening. It might be one of those cases where I'm too set in these ways, and it's not helping me. What? You can just stomp and not combo after? I hate this attack. At least this attack I consistently hate. Is that a good thing? Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, man. Oops, I did not mean to sit down. I'm not giving up on these weapons. I feel like that one trinket's not really doing anything for us. The one I switched to before the episode started. Because we need to get the critical hits off. But yeah, theoretically... They really, really just want to see you buffer double L1s. I think it's one of those cases where the buffer to extend a combo is way... I don't know if this is the case, but it is like... Uh, it seems more open. Like, if you're in the middle of a combo and you press L1 at any point during it, you're going to do that second combo. Which might be for the best, but it's throwing me off here. I'm getting greedy with my jump attacks. What else is new? See? rough one. This be a rough fight. Hmm. I really hate when he just stomps and hits me with it. Like, he knows. He knows that's all he needs. Oh 
Oh my god. We did get the bleed, and he phased right after, I guess. I promise you a thousand years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. <laughs> I don't think they want you to just use that immediately, perhaps. Okay, that time it did not work the way I'm used to. Look at that, we actually got a hit off in phase two. That's a new one. <sighs> Wasting my flame buff, trying to switch to the other weapon. Of course he does this attack, I throw the poison mist on him and he's like, nah bud, I'm out. You can chug and then run, it does seem to work, okay. We have developed new tech, at least, during this video. Like the, the stomp there, the meteors, hell, we even learned to run away from the vortex. That attack! Still eludes me, so it concludes me. Unfortunately, not quite sure what to do with that one. It's just because it, it catches you. It's like designed to catch. That and the, the quick poke into explosion. But the quick poke into explosion is actually pretty easy to dodge. That one's more for catching someone a bit out of a distance. Whereas the one, two, three quick swipes, or one, two quick swipe into delayed three. I can't believe that works. My turn, my turn. He was like, nah, only I can do double jump attacks. Well, what about now? Kind of rude that he cleanses himself every time. What? Can you not do this? Yeah, yeah, whatever. What'd you say? I wasn't really paying attention. I'm too busy dying! <laughs> so the worst part is, if we want this poison to work, we need to do it during phase two. That said, it doesn't seem hard to set up the poison at all. And in fact, it seems way more plausible to buff the weapon with the poison ability than it is to cast a buff on it. Did I mention I hate that attack? Rude. <laughs> I think... Oh, you okay, bro? He was not okay. I am going through some like concluding thoughts looking at the time of the video here. It does seem like, like we are getting some progress. We have some new tech. Some of it is questionable, I will admit.
Man, I hate that so much. And there's like nothing in like nothing in particular that I hate. I just hate that, you know? Me going in, getting a good intro, and then just get eaten by a combo for no reason. No raisin. I'm a little tilted, I will admit. Also a little hungry. So like the worst part is... If I stop playing, I'm gonna go eat. And then I'm gonna be out of the swing of things. At least for a little while. You're still dodging the fireball and he's already doing a new new attack. That's that's kind of rude. Oh my god, if you are a little bit not for like not holding strictly left or strictly right, it will hit you. It just hits you. Oh. Wasn't happy with that one. I don't know if you could tell by the noise I made. It's not a pleasant noise. It was a noise of agony. We still don't have a consistent method of getting to phase two. That might be the worst part of all of this. Please, dude, just jump at me. All right, you're going to jump at me this time? Thank you. Better effort there than on some of the previous attempts, but not good enough. I wonder... Getting a little ahead of myself here. But is there an alternate ending for the DLC? That's my question right now. Is that, um... That area in the back looks pretty important. Dude. I hate you. I, I hate that attack the most! <laughs> I think I might have said it in regards to that attack. The most out of every other attack. I think I might have said like four times that I hate that attack. So I think that one wins. I don't know why though. It's not even that bad and I already figured out tech to counter it. It's just like, it's, it catches me when I'm in melee range. I guess what it is, is like, it's that. It catches you when you're behind him, specifically. Dude, jump at me, bro. Why don't you just jump at me? Thank you. Um, But also, it ends like the melee engagement. He just jumps in the air like a freak. Dude, that delayed final hit on that offset combo just gets me. Apparently, I wasn't holding 90 degrees to the right. Oh, screw you, buddy. No, he said screw, screw you. Screw me. Wait, screw me. Ooh, I feel like my screws are a little loose right now. Hey, that's a picture of um, Godfrey, the Elden Lord. It's a statue of him, I should say. I mean, it's a picture of a statue. I know that because he has uh, the lion on his shoulder, the lion mantle. 
who apparently gave him advice. I was gonna say the dad of this guy, but I don't think it is. Like Merica's definitely the mom of of Radon. Um And so is Mikola. Let's not think about the context of him calling his brother a consort or is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Um but his name starts with R, and specifically Rada, which to me implies that Radagon's his dad. So he's of the second marriage. See, it caught, it caught me rolling to his left. Ends the engagement, then you gotta dodge this attack which is janky in the first place. I love this attack. I will gladly dodge that attack every single day. Okay, we poisoned him. Huge. We definitely phase. Why am I starting so far away from him now? It doesn't really make sense to me. It's just such a mess. It's so hard to read this fight. I've been very happy with this DLC for the most part, despite the boss. It's literally all despite half the bosses. Half the bosses are rude for very similar reasons. They're very big dudes that are hard to hit. The camera gets in the way of the fight, and they all have amazing particle effects that make it impossible to parse what's going on. Like, half the bosses all have this issue now. And I kind of, it makes me worry about the latter half of the bosses of the main game. Like, even that attack, I know how to solve it. It doesn't look good. And there's so much crap in the way. This attack is nice and simple, that's why I love it. Easy to dodge, easy to parse. I wouldn't even be surprised if I dodged that attack the first time I saw it, right? I mean, we've seen that spinny flip thousands of times. It is his sp spinny flip attack, right? It makes sense. Dude. <laughs> And he did the full combo there again, too, just to be like, yeah, yeah, bro. I'll do it again. I was going to say, like, if he just did the standard combo and the flip every time, I mean, we'd get to phase two, but that standard combo during phase two is scary. I don't know what to do about it, to be honest. Bro, jump at me. Like... Yep. I didn't need to double chug. We actually get the poison. Oh, we didn't get the poison. I thought I heard it.
That didn't feel great, but it is what it is. Oh, we're in front of him this time. Oh boy. I just don't know what to do. <laughs> at like period at phase two. That feels bad to say. We need to get that chug in so we can survive because we're using the deflecting hard tier. Chances are it's only gonna dodge some chip damage because half that phase feels like chip damage. I don't know what I was thinking there. Didn't even poison him that time. That feels bad. Thinking if I want to do an extended episode or something. I'm not that hungry, but I will have when I stop playing, I will have to eat for sure. <sighs> I guess context for the video, even though it's a little late. Uh this is the end of a work day, so I'm pretty tired. But I think I will play more. I want to. I'm not sure I want to do more of this fight, to be honest. But I think I probably will. Because we're warmed up. At least conceptually. I can't believe that dodge is that attack. It just doesn't look or feel good in the slightest. To just run to the left or right and then conveniently dodge that crap. I hate how it's like legitimately sometimes 30 seconds before you can get a, an attack in. I cannot imagine having the patience to do this at like level one. And then that thought brought to you by the fact that I hit him with the L2 at the start and then it was legitimately 30 or 45 seconds. That's what it felt like before I could get another attack in. That feels bad. Like Dark Souls was at its best when it was like a do-si-do. -do. It was a dance, right? They attack, they do some like one, two, three hit combo. Sure. And then you get one hit in between. I realized I could have got a hit in there. Because each of these attack sequences are like 10 seconds each. It's kind of ridiculous. This one's not, but this one doesn't allow you to get an attack in. This one is, and that one does not let you to get an attack in. That's a 10 minute, 10 minute, 10 second attack sequence. You have to run back at him, re-engage. I will say, you know, I guess you don't necessarily have to run back at him. If he does this attack, it's actually what you want. Oh my god, I missed. And then I buffered. Whatever, it actually worked out. I hate how the camera looks during that combo too. Like, it doesn't look fun to watch. It's been so long that my poison wore off. That's kind of sad. If we don't get the poison in at all, then this is not worth this attack set, obviously. I recognize that we'd be doing more damage if we just switch back to heavy.
Oh man. Hmm. <laughs> like the poison's not that significant. The problem is, we're at the point, though, where... You may disagree with this. The heavy versus the bleed and poison strat that we have here actually doesn't matter for phase one. Like, when I'm failing phase one, it's because I'm just playing bad. Dude... And the fact that he has a mix-up after the Vortex is actually kind of nuts as well. I'm getting tilted! And I'm like, I should just end the video, but one more. One more good attempt, right? That'll solve everything. That'll fix all the problems. If we see Phase 2 and die immediately one more time, then I'll feel good enough to end the video. Huh. It actually is okay to trade, but like, you need to, you need to actually do it. You just can't be in front of them. When he does the explosion, you just can't be in front of him. I thought for some reason, you know, if you're always just close enough. It would have, uh, not hit me, but that's not the way it works, of course. You have to dodge behind. This isn't any, like, new information either. There's no reason for me to be having to relearn that aspect. Hate that. <laughs> oh, I gotta buffer that roll, man. This whole game, if you're not playing with a shield, is 50 50 buffer or delay your roll. It's getting a little tiring. Just a little. Come on, bro, jump. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah! Do it again. Really? I got so greedy because I knew the phase was coming. Evidently not fast enough. Oh, the poison doesn't even last that long. Hmm, that might be the info we needed. Because I presumed that the poison would last, like, the whole fight. But it also makes sense, because that's not really how it works. Maybe we should try something... Something ridiculous. Maybe we need something ridiculous to help us out.
that said, we don't need lightning slash, I guess. Like, this might be actually legit. Especially if you can chain it into an attack. It seems like you kind of can. You can't, like, cancel into it, but... Okay, my, my strat that I'm trying there, it wasn't going to work. I realize. It's not like we're doing significantly more damage with this either. Obviously, this is going to be an extra long video. I feel it's appropriate for a boss fight. Especially because we just switched up the... the stuff here. Like, 2275 is significant enough of a difference. That it might even outpace the bleed. Yeah, cool, whatever, bro. You jabroni. We phased him for the first time in a hot sec. We're vulnerable during this. Okay. That's huge. If we can replicate that, which we cannot. I promise you a thousand year voyage guided by compassion. It reminds me, this is going to be a weird callback that no one's going to understand. There used to be, I used to play a lot of StarCraft custom maps, original StarCraft or Brood War or whatever. There were these uh, game modes called Bounds. I think the first one was called Jailbound or something like that. And it was the idea that you were one Zergling and you were trying to escape jail. And that meant you had to go through like tons of traps and dodging enemies and stuff like that. And by traps, I mean like constant explosions that you had to like time the Zergling to run through without dying. You would die in one hit, but you'd get checkpoints along the way, right? I feel like the Zergling during phase two where I'm legit just trying my dang best to not die to the explosions. <laughs> I can't even not die to the, the sword attacks, let alone the explosions, man. What reminded me of that is that quote-unquote standard combo, as I've been calling it. It ends in a big explosion of uh, holy beams. But they're not instant everywhere. They're instant in like a circle around him, and then it extends outward in like a larger circle over time. So to me... That means just don't hug his butt and maybe we can get a roll in after. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I recognize we went in this fight without buffs. 
What are we even doing here, dude? I would have been able to run out. I'll give it another 10-15 uh, minutes here. Hmm. I think I had flame on. I just forgot to put the, the flame on. I keep calling flame grant me strength, just flame, which I recognize isn't the most clear of syntax. I could have went for the double jump. We could have chugged, but I don't think we need to. Only one of my hammers hit there to phase him. Dude, stop this. Hoo-wee! What? You <laughs> Did you see how fast my HP bar depleted? I had the, the deflecting hard tier on. The worst part is like, it feels like if I do, if I go back and do like a frame by frame to investigate, there's so much crap on the screen. I don't know if I'll be able to even discern anything. That feels bad. I'm just dead. Oh boy. Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is a rough time. I didn't put on the flame buff, whatever. I put on the flame buff, but not the flame buff. Excuse me. Am I just dead? I thought we might have been just, just dead there, but... Looks like Radon wanted me to live a little. He's like, haha, live a little. Have a drink or two. It's on the house. I got greedy. I will say it is nice to not have so much mental overhead in the middle of the fight thinking about the poison. Okay, flame does add a decent amount of damage. I had a feeling. What? I'm just dead, man. It feels like sometimes he read my input. My input? Oh, man. This video's going on too long.
Evidently. Unfortunately for y'all, I do think unless we beat him right now, or in the next like two or three attempts, the next video might just be me attempting this some more. caught me. He done, he done caught me with my most hated attack. Again, I'm going to try to look at the bright side. We have developed new tech and we are implementing it. But we are sorely lacking in phase two tech. That was some panic roll. I'm dead. I did the thing where I rolled to the left and he catches me. On my most favorite attack. I'm also getting... This is a, a thought I haven't had during this whole playthrough. What if I do some cooperation and I help others beat the boss? Like, theoretically, I'll learn more about the fight. And that might, might be what we need. Come on, man. Really? I really hate when that happens, man. Oh. Please! Okay, one more! One more good attempt, he says. Recognizing even his good attempts are bad. Getting a little sad. I recognize. I'm surprised I dodged that first attack anyway. I didn't think I had enough time to chug there, so I just ran. Dude, jump at me. Please just jump. <sighs> I don't understand that attack still. I said I do. I said I have new tech for it, and then half the time it doesn't work still. I'm getting so flooded. There's no excuse for getting flooded during phase one anymore, though. We've actually been at this for... We're going on our third hour now. Not in this video, but I definitely fought this guy for about an hour in the... The first attempt. Oh, oh my gosh, man. These pain, these uh, pains are coming through the game, hitting me right in my soul.
Yeah, maybe that's the end. <laughs> Getting... <laughs> if you don't start the runaway, there's nothing you can do versus the vortex. That's what it feels like there. Like that's that demoralized me a lot. Um I recognize I shouldn't have got hit in the first place, you know, but man, it, there's there's a lot of crap on this fight, it turns out. So I am going to take a break now. Um and when I come back, we might do some some co-op with others, like trying to help them because I need to change the pace. And I don't want to stop fighting the boss necessarily. Because if we change a pace, we're going back to the old world. There's nothing left to do in the DLC. I don't want to do that unless we're done here. So it might be time either for some co-op shenanigans or to nut up and shut up the next video. We'll see. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this mess. If you did, click that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, folks.